Let's now open the curve.elt file that you have downloaded from the web page into your working folder to do the uh, model by exercise. Now we'll create the main plane uh, at the model UCS. Go to Dendron plane and select main plane. And we'll select this UCS to create the tandem plane. And then right click on the screen, then select OK to create a tandem plane. Now let's create tandem plane, the parallel plane. Parallel plane, and we're going to parallel this plane and change the by offset to by point and we're going to choose uh, this end point over here to get this plane this is the plane that we need then select OK and now we'll trim the middle curve by that plane so just go curve and select trim and select this curve here and this length to trim uh, if you got the uh, wrong side you can click the flip side to select which side that you need to trim and select OK now let's hide the dentum you can press the middle button and the right button of the mouse together and of the Tandem, temporary, and uh, and now we're going to create a spline. So you can uh, use this icon here, spline, or you can go to curve and uh, select the spline options. This is the same. Uh, I'm going to use a true point and uh, make sure your uh, this the point is on and I'm going to choose the middle point of each curve to create a spline uh, you can click this change is open to a close to create a close close spline if you want but now for now we just need a open spline and then OK Next, I'm going to show you to how to create a skin with one section. The section will be this one, the blue one. Press meter button after you finish selecting the section. And then the guide that is a meter curve. This will be the one section, one guide surface. Select OK. Now, let's go and undo the previous skin. Now we're going to create another skin. Uh, this time we're going to use a uh, one section with three guide skins. And the section again it will be the middle one. Press middle button if you finish the sections. Then the guide I will select one, two. You might get a preview error. That's okay. And I will select three three guide and then you click the preview again to preview the surface and OK so this is a surface with one section plus three guide now let's undo again now we're going to create a skin with two sections and uh, two guide We need to create sections by the spline again. Select uh, by the end point. OK, then continue. Sorry, no. Clear selections. Select only the end point. OK. Go to face and we will select the skin. And this time I'm going to select uh, two sections. This will be our sections. 
if this is okay let's meet the button of the mouse and then to guide this is our guide so this is the skin face with two section and two guide let's undo again I'm going to show you another way of the skin uh, by one section plus three guides so skins uh, I will select this H as our skin and the guide I will select one two okay and then select three make sure three is selected and go to preview and okay and this is the result of one section plus uh, three guides As you can see, uh, with the skin function, we can uh, uh, create a freeform face. In you have a variety of choice to do it. Uh, after you finish this, let's undo. Uh, we are not, not going to use this, and uh, we're going to delete these two features: the the end, the two end spline here use control key to select two features and right click and select delete yes next we will create a, an arc connecting three, this three endpoint here of the uh, sections uh, by using the sketch we are going to sketch on the xy plane let's select the sketch and if you cannot see the XY plane that is okay, you just press the meter button of the mouse because the default plane is the XY plane. And I'm going to use the add reference to add the endpoint of each section as our reference. Press the meter button after you have finished. And then we're going to draw an arc. Select the first point and the last point, then the meter point. If this is okay, press me the buttons to exit from the app functions and then right click select exit from sketcher to create the app. Now on the other side we're gonna use this uh, create spline to connect it by the three end point and okay. Uh, the middle curve, we we we're going to delete the way. Uh, just right click on the screen and select remove geometry. Select these two curve, and this is the features uh, for the remove geometry. In the future, if you need this curve to reappear back, just uh, delete these features or sub suppress these features. And now we're going to create a face uh, uh, by using a blend functions, another uh, common function in a common uh, face function in Simaton, blend. Uh, I will use this sections and the sections plus middle, middle button to accept it. And this is a brown boundary, select so like this as a boundary and the second boundary and select OK to create this blend face now we'll create a line by using this lines option here uh, we're going to choose the by directions and the length 100mm is OK I will select this endpoint here and uh, Make sure you click the back the point here and change to along Y. Okay. And then to click this point again. This time select the bind angle. And I need you to change it to the two six three angle. Let's go to the top view, and this is the line that I need. OK, and then select OK to create the lines. 
Again, we're going to create another line. Uh, same, we will use, we will use this uh, by direction, but this time it's 600 mm. We're going to draw and we're going to select this endpoint here. And same again, uh, first we will change the point to Y, Y directions. And uh, let's go to the top. And then we'll change it to by angle. And I'm going to change the angle. Uh, maybe by two. Seven seven, and uh, one eighty, and select OK. Next, let's uh, on the tandem plane by clicking the middle and right button of the mouse together. Uh, display the tandems. And we're going to use this tandem plane, the paraplane, to trip away this long 600 line here. And go to the curve and select trim. Right? Uh, this will be the curve that I want to trim. Let's meet the button and then select the uh, paraplane to trim the curve up to the paraplane. And then select OK. Now we we will uh, extend this short line, short 100 mm line to this parallel plane. Uh, you just go to select curve and choose the extend, and make sure you select close, select this line close to this endpoint here, this side, and press me the button of the mouse to accept the lines, and. It will, indicate, it will show you that now the extension is from this point. And we will change some things, change the delta to, to the reference, and we will select this plane here so that we can extend, extend to this plane.